This is probably one of the most important videos I have made in a while. One of the most difficult challenges while in a lucid dream is staying in a lucid dream. And in this video, I'm going to teach you not only how to stabilize your dreams, but also how to escape from the void. That moment when everything starts fading away and you feel yourself slipping out of the dream. This video is shorter than my other ones, but it's very important and you need to have all of these steps memorized. Welcome back to Explore Lucid Dreaming and today I'm going to be talking about how to stabilize your dreams and what you should do as soon as you enter a lucid dream to make sure that it lasts forever. Now please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you can master your ability to lucid dream, just hit that subscribe button. I will be making a ton of new tutorials on this channel. Now before you start watching this video, make sure that you actually know how to become lucid in the first place, and I have a lot of different methods and techniques on that, so check out some of my videos if you want to learn how to actually get into this position of being in a lucid dream. Once you have that figured out, we can get on with the rest of the video. First of all, everybody's first few lucid dreams are short, and that's okay. However, lucid dreams can last 10 times longer than what you're currently experiencing, and all you need to do are some simple things to set yourself up for success. Once you become lucid, here are the recommended steps that you should follow if you want to achieve a long lucid dream. The most important rule is to avoid running around shouting, I'm dreaming. Don't get too excited and wake yourself up because if this happens, then you will end your dream really, really quickly. And whatever you do, do not tell people in the dream that it's a dream. Trust me, it never works out, and you should just avoid that above all costs. Just stay calm and collected, and realize that if you get too excited, you will wake up. And by the way, don't think about waking up, because if you think about waking up, you probably will wake up, and we will get into that a little bit later. Now one of the best things you can do in a lucid dream, if you feel that everything is starting to fade away, is to rub your hands together. Now research has shown that movement inside lucid dreams stimulates the conscious brain and draws a higher awareness to your dream body, grounding your sense of self inside of the dream. So anything from looking at your hands or rubbing them together or even just spinning around um, will really help you ground yourself in your dream. Also, I know a lot of people don't really like to do this, but in your dream, if you actually do some math, it will also help you stay focused on the dream. So just do like two plus two and stuff like that. Nothing really complicated. You don't need to do physics or anything. Just do some basic calculations and it will really get your mind in the right position that it needs to be in. And the next thing that you can do is if you feel like things are starting to slip away or you don't really have a clear grasp on your dream, just ask your dream for clarity. Now, if you ask for something in your dream, it will happen. So if you say something like, make this dream more clear, the dream will become more clear. And it doesn't really matter what you say, as long as you know what you mean, and you say it with a confident expectation, um, your dream will just, you know, listen. So you just gotta have the right mindset, and you will be good. And the very last thing you wanna think about, by the way, is waking up because if you think about waking up your brain might think that you are demanding to be woken up and you will wake up now you might know what the lucid dreaming void is if you had a lot of lucid dreams and you know what i'm talking about basically everything starts getting black everything starts fading out and you eventually just wake up and now i'm going to teach you the best thing you can do to get rid of this void and to not wake up that's right you can escape waking up and all you need to do is just a simple step. I have done it before, it does work, and a lot of lucid dreaming experts have done it before. Now, first of all, there are two things that you can do. You can either return to the same dream that you're currently in, if you're slipping out of it, or you can re-enter another dream, which is the recommended strategy. But if you want to re-enter the current dream that you're in, so say that you're dreaming and you're driving a race car, and everything starts to kind of fade away, you can actually return to that exact same moment if you imagine yourself climbing a rope back into the dream, or if you imagine yourself kind of pulling your way back to the dream. Now this is actually really hard, and it's not recommended. It could fail if you don't know what you're doing, so this is why I recommend the second strategy. So if you start slipping out of your dream, imagine yourself on a high-speed train, a train that is moving super fast into another dream. And if you can imagine this, and if you can picture yourself on a high-speed train, you will enter another dream. So you won't return to the exact same position that you were in, but you will still be in the dreaming world, 
you will still be lucid and everything will be good. You'll just have to kind of rebuild the dream that you were in previously um, if you want to. That's about it for today's video. It was really short, but I hope you learned a thing or two about dream stabilization. If you want more videos in the future about lucid dreaming, hit that subscribe button and leave a like to show your support. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below sharing your lucid dreaming experiences. And as always, if you have any suggestions for next week's video, don't hesitate to comment below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.